Camera roll sound. Oh, we'll let Chris do it. <laughs> one take one. No, Uno, there's coffee. Oh, Uno. Uno. Oh, Chris comes over and Uno oh, thinks it's so playtime. Oh. One take one marker. Do you remember when you were like, my dog's going to be chill? You well, don't know my dog. He was going to be chill <laughs> until somebody came over that he knows pets him. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Uno. Come here. Sit. Sit down and just be chill. Look at if he's back there looking like that, that's everything. It's pretty cute. Okay. Oh, look at your little face. Day two of Colorado. Well, okay. This Colorado is- Madness. Day two. <sighs> Do I even say it good? No. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth Home, okay. Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode. Another day, another dollar. Right now, we are... What? <laughs> you didn't like my intro. No, I loved it. I was living for it. I'm sucking down this coffee right quick so I can get on that level. I guess... Well, no, I'm not there either. Can we, Okay, this is not... People aren't going to be enjoying us sipping... I know, that's why I'm trying to do it fast. Okay, we should have sipped before. Well, but this is the sip. If we wanted to Where be, else would we sip if not here? If we wanted to be caffeine crazed, we should have just taken this before. I mean, Cheers. I also suggested earlier that we drink our go-go juice so that it kicked in. Your caffeine schedule wasn't aligning with mine. Okay, so we've spent a night in the Colorado house. What are your thoughts on Colorado, on our house? Do you feel that it's haunted? Did you sleep well? I don't feel that it's haunted, though it does have a lovely spooktacular vibe. Oh, not again, Chris. Chris, you turn that sound off. I told him to get the headphone, and then he, I got mad at him for the noise that the <laughs> headphone made. Sorry. Um, I loved it. I slept like a baby. Honey slept with me. I learned that Honey sleeps on her back. It's pretty cute. It's adorable. Every time she's napping or sleeping, she just... I did not see that coming, back I have up, to say. legs out. Yeah. She likes to max relax. I think I it's... I love that for her. For the coolest energy possible. She's also... Yeah, she's, she's hot. She was hot. Well, yeah, that room's hot. We're working on the AC because a lot of houses in Colorado weren't built with air conditioning until recently, like the past Which, 10 years. That's insane. Global warming. You really didn't need it. Like in the summer, you'd open a couple of windows and it was fine, oh. but it's like drastically gotten more hot oh. as the years have progressed. So that is our next venture. I mean, you've been here while we've been having people go in and out nonstop. Yeah, I woke up to the painter in the room this morning. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's okay. It's just the painter. I was like, what? <laughs> well, Why does that make it okay? I like opened the door. I'm like, well, this room has to be painted, Lizzie. So wake up. <laughs> <laughs> no, first he came and he's like, the painter's coming. I was like, like, okay. here he's he like, is. don't worry about it. Then all of a sudden a man is in the room with his mask on. And I'm just like in the bed with honey, like both of us on our backs. Like, yeah. <laughs> She's scrolling through TikTok asking me to come in and watch porn. I mean, I didn't show you the porn scene. I just thought it was that one little clip was hysterical. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What Lizzie does in the morning. I'm over in the other room and she says, come here right now in all caps on text messages. But we had a lovely time. We went to a nice little restaurant in Colorado. We had a lovely restaurant moment. We tried the hot tub out for the first time. Which was sickening. Five stars. Five stars. And then we were almost attacked by a buck. No. Oh, what? Chris and I are facing Lizzie, facing the house, facing Lizzie. Lizzie's looking out at the yard and all of a sudden she goes... There's a fucking buck behind you right now. And the w- the tone in which she said that, Chris that and tone? I both thought like it was about to drink out of the hot tub we were sitting in. So we like freeze <laughs> thinking that the thing's going to decapitate us. And then I it look back could. and it's a hundred feet away. And then she goes, well, I heard they run fast. They do. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No, they don't. Have you seen one sprinting yes, they do. yet? Yeah. No, I'm saying, yeah, they do. Like yeah. you're correct. Yeah. You look great today. I have a lot of makeup on and I needed to be blown out by the lights. Your girl's puffy. Why? Pregnant? Oh, no. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no. My grandma heard you. So we also stopped by my parents' house last night and my grandma heard you joke about something pregnant and my grandma goes, she's pregnant? Damn it, Nana McAllister. <laughs> so now even my grandma thinks you're pregnant along with all the sip commenters. No, I've just got a great little highlight going on right now. So I'm glowing. You're happy and glowing. She's a traveling woman. No, it's literally a makeup palette. I'm wearing a highlight. <laughs> like, it comes with multiple different colors. So I have like a rosy one for my cheek. Bye. He's done Uno with just, us. He's like, I told you. He's he over tell. it. Over you, over us. Chris. Oh, that's what I was going to say. The oh, whole wait. reason. Oh, Were you going to bring up that you guys are trying to decide what the deer was? Oh, oh what no. sub sexuality the deer? <laughs> well, because we got into the hot tub and Chris started talking about subculture. Well, because well, Chris wow. isn't. Can we expose you? Yeah. Chris, well, hit unmute. Chris. Yeah. 
consent to it on air, please. Yes, you can expose me. <laughs> so cr- our friend Chris is into bears, which means a fluffy man. It's like bigger, typically hairy men. Doesn't have to be, but that's sort of the, the stereotype. Well, I think a lot of people know that there's like, what are they, subcultures in gay? Like there's twinks, yeah, there's, there's bears, there's hunks, otters, there's bunks. Hunks. Hunks. Yeah. There's like muscle jocks, there's like chubs, there's... <laughs> and so we were talking about Chris's type, and then you're with a... Wait, what were... What? Because he was well, saying, he oh, was there's trying, different types yeah, of bears. He's like, within the bear community, there's panda bears, there's koala bears, there's... Australians, which I didn't know, like, a koala bear is an Australian. Yeah. There's polar bears when you get older and your hair turns white. Interesting. So, and then all of a sudden, we were starting trying to figure to out what kind of bear the deer was. Yeah, what, well, I didn't think he was a beer, I th- or a bear. bear. I thought he was a hunk. Oh. Because yeah. he was, like, muscular and toned, but, bi- like, tall. Like He, he, he was, was like, right. a jock. He worked out. And then Lizzie sure. goes, can we stop trying to identify the bear and be concerned <laughs> for our safety? I mean, honestly, that thing was staring right at us. And you guys are just like, what kind of what kind of gay is that deer? <laughs> I was We're like, like what does he identify as? We still didn't settle on one, though. No, because Lizzie was freaking hunk. out You just said hunk. So then Lizzie's I going was not back out. and forth. <laughs> I have two people that are child-like at heart. That are afraid of everything. Because oh. Lizzie kept going back and forth on, okay, Chris has to sleep with me. To No, Chris, I don't want you in my bed. <laughs> right. And, and then Chris was like, maybe I want to sleep with you. No, I don't want... And they just did this like 20 times. Like, who fucking no, cares who sleeps no. where? Play back the tape. First of which, your boyfriend was like, do you guys want to go on a spooky haunted tour? And I was well, like, that- I don't even want to talk about a spooky haunted tour if I'm going to have to sleep here alone. Yeah, see, and Shane would never like... And then like- Chris went and Chris scared himself. Okay, yeah, Shane took me down to the actual basement. There's like two basements or something, right? I'm confused. Yeah. But the the bottom basement, and he was like, yeah, can you feel it? There's like a pressure in your chest, and there's ghosts here. And, and I was, Chris is like, I always feel the pressure in my chest. What? Yeah, Chris is nothing but chest pressure. <laughs> I got more scared, though. I wasn't. I wouldn't have thought of being scared to sleep here until then. And then yeah. when all the lights went off, I was like, oh, God, I'm near the door where all the ghosts are. And yeah. Like, oh, no. Well, and then I'm in the room with the spooky, scary little secret hatch door. And I just kept seeing Samara busting out of there being like, I need some moisturizer. Well, and because we like, don't have the air conditioning yet, I was in Lizzie's room because it's upstairs. I'm turning the fan on. I'm going to open the window. the tries to open the and window goes, at night. She goes, that, that. I was like, well, you're going to sweat to death if I, I don't, don't open I the window. And she sweat goes, to death than the alternative. She was like, I am not having somebody crawl up this and snatch me. I was like, nobody's crawling up to the second floor Tapping to snatch the floor. you. Tap and then the she form. gave me examples and I said, well, that's why I don't listen to true crime. It's not about listening to true crime. It's like stuff that happened and is timely in our lives. I just feel pretty safe here. Yeah, it's. A, I felt safe too until I, I remembered, you know. I can't say that for a lot of places. Like even the California house, it has like the most tricked out security system you could find. And yeah. I'm still a little uneasy there for some reason. I mean. I feel like people have like dragged people up those Santa Monica mountains, you know. <laughs> I mean, we also ate at a restaurant yesterday that Chris Watts used to take his mistress to. So okay, that was a Morgan <laughs> fact. <so. laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Like. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, some creepy shit happens in Colorado as yeah. well, just like anywhere else. I'd say There's also the Colorado cannibal, a tale as old as time. What? You freaky ass people. What do you mean you feel like bodies haven't been drug up here? Well, I'm just saying, I don't feel as though this house is haunted. And Shane likes to take people just on for haunted the record, tours of everywhere to spook Chris out. Right. And did you sleep adequately? I ended up sleeping very well. It was comfy. It's a beautiful house. I also, for the most part, feel safe. I was just a little, most part. a little scared at first. We got Chris on the zip line. Oh, I think we oh. have footage of that. We might. Oh, you filmed it. I couldn't handle the camera responsibility. No. no. Every time Lizzie pitches an idea, I'm like, okay, well, could you vlog that portion for me? And she goes, no, I, re- I retract the idea. I'm like, you literally can't like press record on something. I d- couldn't see for some reason. Maybe it's because my sunglasses well, no, are polarized. I couldn't see the screen. I was like, I broke it. The camera's d- broken. I can't see out of it now. Did we already talk about that you had pitched the like, uh, f- like throwing the dart at the map and doing a podcast wherever it lands? No, mine wasn't a dart situation. I know, but I elevated your idea. No, you reduced my idea <sighs> to a previously used function. <laughs> no, it's the same thing with a more um, fun, spontaneous approach to what you were doing. If well, we because pick- Chris hasn't seen America, I suggested we oh take him to see gosh. America. Oh my gosh! We also found out Chris is a Chris liar. Chris has seen last America. Night. This Chris is, is nothing. Out. 
liar. I've never no, met more no. of a liar in my life. And then I caught Lizzie in a lie last night too. Let what me, lie okay, you let me expose in? both of you. Okay, so as we go throughout the day, I pick up Chris and he's like, this is incredible. I've never been anywhere. I'm like, really? And he's like, well, San Diego. And I was like, wow, great. And then he goes, actually, I've been to Vegas too. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then we're in the hot tub last night and he's like, no. oh, I was in a hot tub in Park City, Utah at Sundance. And I was like, that's the most bougie <laughs> event you Wait can go to in Utah it. ever. And this bitch got a parasite in Peru and uh, has been to fucking Germany. And like, Hawaii. this girl's been everywhere. And, he's and out, Hawaii. He's out here acting like, I've never been anywhere. I've never anywhere. been anywhere. What's no. Burbank like? And then, <laughs> yeah, now we're realizing that he really did. He's a worldly. A quick one on us. Yeah. And then. What's my lie? Oh. Wait, can I, I, I defend you at this? myself? No, you can't defend yourself. Hold Go on. back on mute. <laughs> Go back on mute for just a second. <laughs> and then Lizzie. <laughs> She goes, I go, we, I, I was talking about my grandma and I was like, oh, I never have heard about oh. your grandma, Lizzie. And she goes, I don't have any. <laughs> and then two minutes no. later, she goes, oh my God, yeah, I do have a grandma. And then, <laughs> Sorry, grandma. And then I said, you're just as bad as Chris. You're like, you guys are both, I'm in the company of liars. I don't know that we're liars so much as like, we're forgetful. You know, <laughs> we forget people, places, things. It's really hard for me to believe Chris just forgot he's been in anywhere in the whole world no the chris thing's crazy considering he got a parasite in peru okay chris. no i would like to defend myself i didn't say i hadn't been anywhere in the world i said specifically i hadn't been anywhere in the united states yeah you keep saying it like it's a defense but it's like some weird small have, print and i feel manipulated nonetheless i have videos of me in germany all over the internet it's not a secret it's back everywhere. on you back on you <laughs> okay before we go any further i want to give a shout out to one of today's sponsor which just so happens to be daily harvest god we love them so much uh and when it's summer the sun sets later the days get longer and we're out living our best lives we're out running to we're running errands going to target we're going to target I, colorado which doesn't leave a lot of time for you to prepare food or think about your next meal but your next meal is very important and that is where daily harvest comes in too play i would say it's one of the best self-care routines i've implemented in my life yeah. is having daily harvest daily harvest delivers delicious harvest bowls flatbread smoothies and more all built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door i've said it before but oh gosh their broccoli <laughs> and cheese harvest bowl is delicious they have flatbreads that are <gasps> to phone home about they have one that's artichoke and spinach mm. Don't even talk dirty like I'm that. I'm getting right hungry now. right now. So All I've had is a yogurt. I need some Daily Harvest. <laughs> Daily Harvest literally takes minutes to prepare. They never use preservatives or added sugar to the actually nothing artificial whatsoever and that goes for everything so my personal favorite on top of what i had just mentioned in the summer is their daily harvest scoops it's their plant-based mm. ice cream scoops is the perfect sweet treat plus it's gluten and dairy free doesn't get any better than that so daily harvest is also all about leaving the earth a better place than they found it not just for us but for future generations to come they focus on increasing biodiversity investing in organic farming practices and reducing food waste and even produce or prioritize Prioritizing recyclable and compostable packaging. So Daily Harvest is delicious food all built on whole and organic fruits and vegetables that conveniently stays fresh right in your freezer. So it's ready when you are. It's definitely the entire package. We've also got a very special offer for all of you. Get back more time to do you and take care of yourself this summer. Go to dailyharvest.com slash the sip to get $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash the sip to get up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash the sip. Okay, right back into it, Elizabeth Gordon. Yes, sir. What did we have planned for oh, today? Oh, there's money. It's in the frame. Oh, I had something I wanted to ask you about. Me? Specifically you. Yeah. Why? My friend that happens to be you. Uh -oh. So when I was picking you guys up from the airport yesterday, I was nervous, but I wanted to find your location. So I was going to ask you if we're close enough to be find my oh, friends. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm not tripping on anyone knowing where I am. Like, You're if kidding. I go, no, if I go missing, I want someone to know. I wish Joe had my friend, my find, whatever. <laughs> friend, my what is it called? <laughs> find, find my, my friend. friends. I want Joe to turn my lo locations on, but I don't know how to do it. You can totally do that. It's become my favorite tool. And 
and pastime. Like I'll That's open terrifying. it just to like see where my sister, Morgan, my brother, my aunt. Like I yeah. love having people's locations because it makes me feel like safe. Also, if I'm you wondering turn where it on, I'm is. like at your old house. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the camera. She's dragging the couch out of the garage. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> she would never remember the garage code, even though it's in her text a million I think times. I know it now. I delete all my text messages. Mm. A lot of stuff to hide in there. Smart girl. <laughs> so I was just wondering if we could be that. Yeah, of course. Just know you can I'm turn gonna like on. know when you're hiking. I'm gonna be like, if I go How missing, is no, I like that. And I want when I go missing, I want you to call the police and say I know where she is. Can you add me right now? I don't. Just because, I literally like, when don't you know were how. at the airport, I wanted you to be able to know where I was. It's so fun. Like when we were going to the mountains for my yeah. sister's birthday, my sister had like all six of us on her find my friends, and she sent a picture, and we're like That's all so in a train cute. up the highway going to the mountain town. So but yeah, turn that shit on because okay. I want to know when I go missing. I want someone to know where my body is, and I want you to know where I am too. You know. So when someone snaps matches me out of your guest room in the middle of the night because you opened the window See? and that is where it becomes really useful yeah i'll like, shove that phone right up my ass and it'll be a little tracking beacon come get me come get me ass. it wasn't made for torture turn on we're gonna have to do this after the podcast so that i don't okay. bore them to death i was just wondering cool. and if you guys utilize find my friends i can't get shane on it for some reason. like we're trying but yeah his location isn't working don't ask me why Watch okay mine not either and i'm just doomed to vanish without a trace clashing colors Oh, um, okay. Do you want me to preface this or do you? First of all, first of all. Wow, I've got her giddy. I, well, because a big thing happened to Target last night. <sighs> What's funny is we get to Colorado and Lizzie, Morgan's like, <laughs> Morgan's adventurous and young. She's like pitching us going out and about. She wants to go to downtown Denver. And Lizzie and I are like, can we just go to a nice restaurant? Get back <laughs> I didn't home, even want a nice restaurant. I wanted Red Lobster and everyone was like, I can't do that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I said, okay. Everyone else said absolutely not. But Chris was kind of down, but I feel like he's just being nice. We could go there for lunch. But I like Olive Garden for lunch. Let's go to better. Olive Garden. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't even care. <laughs> so we were going to go somewhere unique, but then Lizzie's like, no, I just want to go to a nice chain restaurant. And then she wanted to go to Target. Like she could not. Well, I wanted to see if the Target in Colorado hit different. And it doesn't. I also want to know. If I mean, it's nicer. It obviously doesn't. Because I'm in there in my fucking Target dress, which I wore last episode. For all you ladies asking in the comment section, most of my shit's from Target. Anyways, we're in Target. We go to the young adult section where, you know, it's like the cool kids shop. Well, yeah, Lizzie also <laughs> couldn't get to the young adult section fast enough. So I book it to the young adult section. And there are two girls who look very cool. One of them has colored hair. The other one... I can't, it's a blur. I blacked out with excitement. But she goes, I like your dress. And I go, I got it here. <laughs> and it was just so and exciting. Then two seconds later, she's like, walks to me and she goes, I got recognized for the dress. Or I, like, somebody said they, they liked like my dress. my dress. And so then two seconds later, she finds the dress and she pulls it out and she goes, See? And I go, oh, I guess Colorado doesn't hit different than California. No, it, the it hits the same. Also, for you guys wondering, it hits the same. And then when I said, well, I can't wait for you guys to come back in the snow so we can like get in the hot tub and it's snow covered. And she goes, just sounds like we're going to have a lot of time to spend in Target where it's warm. Yes. So Lizzie loves Target. But the thing about that was Morgan has a green purse that's great. Amazon $10. She's going to get one in every color. She's been raving about it it's for perfect, three weeks. It's perfect. Holds all her shit. Mm -hmm. And it's like a lime greeny color. And mm. then last night she got sort of a minty greeny color. And there's like differences, well, right? So like a minty green is a tiny bit more blue and white. And the lime green is a little bit more yellow. And white. so she couldn't decide if she wanted the hoodie because it was like a little too pricey for Target, honestly. Was it? And she's holding it up. And while she was holding her purse, I go, you cannot wear those together. And Lizzie goes, clashing colors are all the rage. It's not about the clashing color. It's about the same color, but a different realm of the spectrum. So people are uh, like you can wear two psycho <laughs> psychotically different pinks and See, it's OK. And, and you can wear pink and orange and it fucking hits good. When I was growing up, you couldn't even wear brown and black together because I they remember clashed. those days. And, and my, my God, mom, am I glad they're she would done. Just, are they done? You they're can done. wear brown and black together. You can wear brown and black. You can wear blue and black. Go fucking so crazy. I'm happy you can do that. But I feel like a lime green and a dark or a different green. They just like. But see, it's the it screams it's the TikTok to me. Screams Gen exactly, Z and trying to make something that's not good. Well, that's good. what these trailblazers are trying to do. They're they're making something that's hideous and disgusting acceptable in society. Which and I, like I respect that as a hideous, disgusting person. 
<laughs> looking so put together and fantastic. This, I told you guys I'm out of fucking clothes. It's formal wear now. This is I all told you her get. just start rewearing things, and she refuses to wear an outfit twice on the sip. I won't. She wants. I have to like give a job. It's like look a certain type of way and like sit here for an hour. Hmm. <laughs> but we can also segue this into my one of my oldest friends is having a fucking baby okay lil lil her name lil is lil. lily i'm gonna have a little baby girl mm. not me but you know my friend is so it's like that's my baby now too right and uh so her baby shower is next weekend and I'm going, but it's like, it feels weird. Like it almost feels like more of like a bachelorette weekend. Like this is her last like hurrah before Lil gets here. So I got like a kind of a skanky dress to wear. Oh, <laughs> and it's like backless and strappy and sexy. But I also feel like we should go out in Scottsdale while we're there. My friend's like, dude, I'm f- super fucking pregnant. Like I'm not <laughs> about to go clubbing. I'm like, I don't drink either. Like we'll just sit at a table. <laughs> but she's like, no, it's like 110 degrees out here. I'm not going out <laughs> like, so what did you plan for her or are we're gonna set the up planner? her no we're gonna set up her nursery i'm not the planner someone else is planning the baby shower i'm just attending looking like a hot snack okay and then and if it's in arizona do you know anyone that's going to be there but her because that's my night just like her dad and her grandma nana, you, oh nana, i guess shout out nana cheryl everyone's allowed at baby showers but yeah bachelorette and bachelor parties like the opposite sex isn't allowed. i guess not Although I came to your bachelorette party, yeah. which she then started screaming last night that she I want didn't a wife have Lorette. one. Oh, should no. we talk about this? The hot new thing? <laughs> Bitches who got married in lockdown and didn't have bachelorette parties are now having wife Lorette parties. I'm just going to call this girl out and I feel like it's okay because I don't think she watches the podcast, but I went to high school with her and she's kind of low-key fabulous. And I'll preface this by saying I have no association with what she's about to say. Amy fucking Bothman, who's now Amy Does Cohen. Does anyone know who that is or is this are one they, if they If you don't know who Amy fucking Bothman <laughs> is you better know by now because is that she girl like is an influencer or an actress? no but she fucking could be like amy's like <laughs> no. amy influences I thought my you were life gonna give a hot take on a celebrity right well, now amy, i'm saying amy should be a celebrity so amy formerly bothman currently cohen mm-hmm. had a wife of lorette party and they had like a balloon arch set up with a thing that said wife of the party this shit was fancier than my wedding they had a body glitter bar they had a deaf disco because she didn't get to do this during lockdown which is when she got married so now she's out living her best bachelorette life but she's a wife so it's a wife lorette and i want a fucking wife lorette i'll be goddamned if i don't get a wife lorette i want like three days somewhere warm i want pictures of my husband's you don't head like printed on climates popsicle that are sticks. warm though i love a hot climate are so you where is hot that doesn't have a beach here i mean right now arizona here we can we can join together you can be a wife lorette i can be a bachelorette i'm not showing my day oh my god <laughs> <laughs> i'm not <laughs> I won't be doing that. Are you going to come to Colorado to plan mine? Yeah, I was going to plan yours so that I could enjoy it by proxy. Can you plan the wedding? You did a fabulous job. Thank you. And she kept saying it's going to be a shithole. And it was. No, I said gorgeous. if you set your expectations low, it's a shit show. We have three items to decorate with lanterns, neon light, pinata. Mm-hmm. And how's married life going? Let's do like a month check in. Has it been a month? It's, it's been, been a two few months. months. It's maybe by the time this airs, three months. Time flies. <laughs> time does fly when you're having fun. And you love him just as much as the day you met him? I love him maybe more. I get definitely a lot more sentimental and start crying when I think about him dying. I think what? I'm, yeah. Why do you ju- do you think about I everyone like, you know dying? It's weird. It's a lot more with him. Well, I mean, that's, <laughs> I think that's weird. <laughs> I'm like, don't go to the gym. You're gonna die. I mean, Shane does the same thing, and he'll like yeah. get down on his knees and pray when I leave because he like doesn't want anything Shit, to happen. I didn't He's know like, oh, be that, safe. But I might start and then he like too. does crosses. On, is that? Does he give you the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost crosses? No, he just goes. Oh, not the face. Do you know how much makeup I have right <laughs> now? You really just put hands on me in front of my audience? <laughs> oh no, they're gonna wow. come for me. Yeah, come for him. Do you want to do it back just so we're even? No, it's not even. You have to go put on three layers of face before I touch you and fuck it up for how can we even. make it even do you want to touch my butt no throw me a wife florette maybe it's okay no i don't want to touch your butt uh, I, well i didn't know <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i'll throw you a, a bachelorette okay a groom's part a groom's lorette what is it there is a bachelor party all these people that got right? married they just like should what's the rush is my question i think part of just the rush wait. is like they wanted to start their lives they had certain you know, p- See, points in their life that they wanted to meet by certain points and I, in time. I and wonder what's wrong with me that quarantine like, be damned. those types of things just like, I already feel like Shane and I are married. So like yeah. my rush to get married is, doesn't exist. The limit isn't here. 
Like I, the limit doesn't exist. I actually feel like it's just going to be a nightmare and like, oh, getting married. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm like Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeto loves this couch, by the way. Um, uh, what was I saying? The rush to get married because you already feel married. I do have to say I already felt married too, but the my that our wedding was the best day of our fucking lives. Right. And I, well, maybe I can just only speak for myself. It was the best day of my fucking life, Joe. You, you did dip out. I stayed longer than you at your own wedding. No, you did not. Yes, I did. You no, you did not. You guys dipped. You guys were like, Burr. we did like a little train for you. Yeah. I guess that's standard though. Yeah. Yeah, you guys dipped. Yeah. And then I was there for another while, like another half an hour before I stole a bunch of cake. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I would have taken the whole fucking cake, but I just got like three plates that I was oh, juggling also, on the way out. My friend Kate just told me you're supposed to save your cake and I didn't save my mm. cake. Nobody tells me You're supposed to put some anything. of the cake in there. Even I know that. You put the cake in the freezer. That's like the one tradition I'm like locked in on. I feel like I must have known that, but I wish that somebody was like, remember these things. And you would think out of all your friends, that would have been me. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> Do you have any of my cake left? Is that soda flavored? No, it's uh, Baja Lime. Oh. Chapstick. You I kind of hate it. You can only get it on I kind of hate the way this chapstick smells. Well, you've been hating on my chapsticks all your whole duration of being in Colorado. My Coca-Cola chapsticks. Yes. No, I loved that. I loved that. I was well, lauding your Coca-Cola chapstick. Your tone didn't seem like that. Maybe you need to know. fix your tone. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll okay. fucking think about mm-hmm. it. Okay, the last thing you have on here is a Bama Rush. Oh, Bama Rush TikTok, but we definitely don't have enough time to fall into that because we only have two minutes left on this clock. I don't think I want to know what that is anyways. <laughs> so. If you aren't on Bama Talk, you have not lived. Oh, this is another thing. Like Swift Talk, like there's the categories of talk. Yeah. So it's a talk yeah. category. Yeah. Not interested. <gasps> you should be. You would love well, this. These this are your, coming these from are the girl who is girls. sending me video. Who, okay. I'm making sure everyone's settled, that they have sheets and pillows. I walk into Lizzie's room and she's like just scrolling endlessly on this. What kind of light is this? Oh, it's an aquarium light tube. <laughs> it's important. And the silence I mean, of one. that alone. No, you guys watched the unpacking video. That shit is sick. <laughs> Tell me that shit's not Chris, sick. Chris, did you dabble into that? Wait, into Bam- Bamarush? Oh, no, he doesn't the, read our text. The aquarium, you didn't read our group text? I don't I don't know which one. You didn't read our fucking group text <laughs> which where one? I sent you guys an aquarium light tube? It's like this it's long, tall It's four feet tall. tall. There's water cylinder. inside it. Yeah, there's a cylinder. There's water inside there's it. There's a little motor lights. that pushes bubbles and the fish. And the fake oh, fish. Well, I did see this. I and Lizzie's this. spending fuck, right? hours yeah. just scrolling at different people's unboxing and reviews of these things. Should I give like that for your wedding present? I mean, I would be careful because Joe asked I me to send... be careful. Just because Joe asked me to send him a link and this is my reoccurring pattern of like telling everybody I want something and then it fucks up everybody getting me a present, but now I have this insecurity that Joe's not going to get me. It's weird. And then the person that does end up getting it for you, you ruin it before they're able to give if it you to you. If you have Joe's number, just text him and ask if he's already gotten it. And if he hasn't, then you get it. <laughs> this is how I handle gifts, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be right back. This is why no one gets me anything because I'm fucking awful. Getting. I smell bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? One take no, two, I, oh, are you doing a callback to your stinky love of yourself? <laughs> well, yeah, I just wanted to see if you no, liked the way you smell. No, I don't the like way the way smell. I smell. Can I s- you, you don't? No, it's can awful. No, you can't. Just let me try. Girl, I smell bad you and I don't want, want you to confirm how bad. I brought deodorant. I didn't get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just let me see what your stench is like. It's different. It is different. <laughs> I'll respect your boundaries. I just want to tell everyone I didn't shower at all yesterday after traveling and being in the hot tub. And I was like, I'm going to rinse off. I'm going to rinse off. And I just washed my face with a hand soap and then put hand sanitizer on it. And it's like, here's the deal. I was scared to close my eyes. She, I was scared to close made, my eyes alone. Lizzie, Lizzie goes, I'm just going to wash my face right here with the dish soap. And we were like, what? We have lots of face wash. And she goes, no, I'm good right here. Just no one leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and she leave it all no one look at me. She starts and she looks up and it's like dripping mascara down her face. I was like, You good? She's like, Yeah, just stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being alone when my eyes are closed. <laughs> the 
That's why I slept with the lights on a little bit in the bedroom. Ooh, Chris said he put on the lamp in his room too. You know what? I would do have to say I just used that potty and I would not have done well down here. Why? <laughs> I was scared going pee just now. The door oh like gosh. opened a little bit and all I could think of was like a black <sighs> rotting hand of like human flesh turned to tar dripping with long fingernails and just phalanges exposed reaching around the door to grab me while I peed. And I'm super... <gasps> caffeinated and hydrated right now so there was a lot of pee and i peed for like 20 minutes did you notice how long i was gone? yeah you were singing and i could hear it through the headphones i was singing <laughs> you know, god okay i was well, singing we have another that might not show. have been me <laughs> <laughs> stop it it was the demon that took over you if you don't remember it bitch i was not singing was i singing you were talking to yourself if not singing all right, we have a sponsor for the show, which just so happens to be me undies, who we love very, very much. It's about to be fall, which means we're going to replace our water intake with pumpkin spice lattes. We're going to go out of our way to step on a nice, especially now in Colorado, a crunchy leaf. You've got to come back for when it's fall and the leaves change colors. I'm pretty sure we're coming mm. back once a month, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm excited for you to experience the seasons without living here. So you can also <laughs> find your comfort in undies, loungewear, and more with me undies because me undies believes that comfort is about more than what's touching your skin it's about feeling comfortable in your skin if you haven't tried a pair of me undies anything you are seriously missing out you can go fun funky prints or solid bolds but all of them are comfortable mm, buttery smooth and soft so <clears throat> Like I said, imagine the softest thing you've ever felt. Now imagine the same thing, but on your butt. Now you're thinking about MeUndies. They're designed by the country's top softness scientists to be the softest thing you've ever worn period. From undies to loungewear, the fabrics are breeze breathable, light, and almost irresponsibly cozy. You're never going to want to get up off your couch or leave your house. So really, Oh, yeah, you're never going to leave your couch. So you've been warned. Uh, available in sizes extra small through 4XL, which is amazing and incredible. And in a variety of classic colors and iconic prints, Me Undies will have your back and your butt all fall long. Lizzie. I'm sorry, honey, was asking for it. <laughs> Come on, honey, get your little butt up here. Okay, so Me Undies has a great offer for all of our listeners. For any first time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. Me Undies also has their problem free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash sip. That's MeUndies.com slash sip. All right, everybody. So Lizzie, do you want to start with some advice or with a fun little quiz we have gotten ready for our audience? Didn't we have something else we wanted to talk about? If there's something you want to talk about. Oh, no, you you don't want to talk about Bama Talk. No, I'm not very interested, but I don't want to shut you down either. But we do have a lot of show to get to. That's fine. Let's get to the show. But if you feel like I shut you down, I'll let you have the floor. I mean, if you don't care about Bama Talk and you're not on TikTok, I guess it's not worth the conversation. <laughs> okay, so let's get into advice, though. Oh, just took a hair whip to my own eyes. Handpicked by Lizzie herself. Oh, hmm. Hmm. We forgot to talk about JLo. We can bring that up later. All right. I feel like, so here's, wh here's why we can bring it up later. I'm talking about like a later podcast mm. because I feel mm. as though an engagement's in the air, right? And if we talk about her now... Are you putting this on Chris? Because we're no, both engaged. No, we're talking about fucking J-Lo right now. Oh, I thought you meant... Okay, I get it. With Ben. <laughs> ben and yes, Jen. Benifer. Ben and Jen. Benifer. Okay, Lizland has come to the same page. It's Rizzy. <laughs> Ew! It's Rizzy Lizland. No, I don't like Rizzy. Everybody in the comment section was like, it's Rizzy Lizland. I thought they put Lizland. No, we came up with Lizland and it was stupid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't like... It's Rizzy Lizland. That was the last thing Rizzy we landed on. Rizzy Lizland. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. Anyways, uh, we were going to discuss Jennifer Lopez's six engagements. Because she's had six of them. Because she's had six of them. Which I'm starting to think, sorry, cut you off. You're good. I'm going right into it. I can't help myself. Go right into it. Now, I'm just saying, I feel like she might be engaged again soon. So if we talk about it and we're pre-recording. Then they're all going to know that we were right. 
Well, right. But we're also like behind the times because we're not talking like it's, you know, a projection. Well, this is pre-recorded, So just know that we've predicted this if it's already happened. Yeah. And we're genius eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and Lizzie knows that Kylie Jenner's pregnant, even though it's not confirmed. So it's not confirmed, that, but it's confirmed. I think Jayla is a love addict. Jesus. Uh, well, I guess shots fired. Okay, that. Why do you like, think she's a love addict? I don't mean that. So, like, addict, I guess, is harsh. Uh, Some but I would guess, say that people are addicted to loving J Lo. I would say she's, uh, she loves love. Maybe the addict was too harsh. Maybe. I just think when you're so successful and you have everything and you've bought a million houses and you have everything, every jewelry money can buy, every Birkin you could imagine, yeah. planes, jets, automobiles. It's a like a million dollar life insurance policy on your ass alone. What else can release the serotonin or give you a rush? And for her, that's probably falling in love. So I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying that is probably like, the rush of finding someone new and experiencing life I mean, through a new lens is probably fun and exhilarating for her. Yeah, but I also don't think that her love life is that absurd considering what her life is. Well, yeah. I mean, Like it's, my parents, no offense guys, I'm going to out you right now, have both been married three fucking times. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And they're they're not love addicts well and okay i'm taking back the addict they fucking hate love my parents hate love just kidding <laughs> i i retract my addict statement about yeah. j-lo because that's harsh i'm just saying she loves right. love she likes yeah. love but what i will also say Who is a, love love? a person in her position it would be very hard to find somebody with good intentions about getting in a relationship with her so maybe she just is an optimist and is like oh this one will work out and they show who they truly are quickly yeah. and it's not like she's ever maybe she is flaunting it but it is like paparazzi she doesn't even have a chance to like try to be private with these i men. mean the fact that we're even talking about this is because ben went to fucking tiffany's and was outwardly looking for rings and taking notes on rings oh so in we're public. not geniuses i didn't know this this slip yeah. of information yeah so he's at tiffany's well there's reports of him being at tiffany's with his kids looking at rings so everyone's speculating they're going to get engaged soon okay yeah Got it. But the bottom line is, like, TBD. We'll see how it goes. And then we'll compare and contrast all of her engagement rings. Oh, my gosh. That is Fun, a segment. Right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Does she have six that we can pull up and Yeah, look at? right now she does. Should we do that instead of this? Well, that takes a lot of pre-production. So, like, let's wait. And then I can curate the six rings. Okay. And can maybe we, the seven. Can we do that in reviewing Celebrity Jets in the same episode? I would fucking love to. Okay. Can and you produce Connor that? Connor McGregor. Yeah. And can we make it Jets and Yachts? Yes. Jets, Yachts, J-Lo's rings. engagement rings. Yeah. Write Boom. it down. Write it down, Chris. <laughs> Chris. Chris. We can't. We're busy. Chris, we're busy. We're working. <laughs> we're so busy. Chris. Oh, wait. Planes, yachts, planes, J-Lo's. yachts, private jets, yachts, J Lo rings. Thank you, Chris. Thanks, Chris. Okay, now to advice, advice though. though. Oh, I'm in charge of this, huh? Yeah, that's your job. Okay, so first and foremost, we're gonna go with a topic which is a friend from work. Mm. I'm winking for those of you just listening to the audio. <laughs> um, this is one. Uh, this is one subject I'm struggling. You're glitching. You're metering an ad. I'm glitching. I think we cut and pasted this a little bit wrong. So I'm just going to start from the top. (laughs) A friend from work. I'm winking if you're listening to the audio version. So it says, I'm struggling. My boyfriend, I love him so much. I've been with him for five years. And for the past three years, I've been uh, employed and supporting him and helping him out with whatever he needs. Uh, because I can and now he's got a well-paying job and I kind of feel like he could take me out on a date but I don't want to ask for it and I don't want to feel like I'm asking for too much am I asking for too much help and then it's a two-part situation okay. do you want to do the second part now or after we answer first part how related are the two it's very unrelated okay so let's start with the first okay you go you go <laughs> okay well I just think Let's give him the benefit of the doubt to start. Yeah. I would say have a conversation and just say, hey, like I loved being able to support you when you needed it. And I was always more than happy to do it. And now that you've gotten to X place in your life where you're also making money, I'm not asking you to like go above and beyond and pay for my life. But I would like you to maybe like take me to dinner every once in a while and see how that goes. Like I would give him the benefit of the doubt and at least give him that conversation. If he reacts negatively, to that or doesn't change after that I would say you've got a dud on your hands 
I, yes. So I believe in all things, in like things that you want, people aren't mind readers. No. And it comes to how you want to be treated if you're being treated poorly or if you don't like the treatment you're receiving and it's not even poor, you just don't like it. You have to speak up and say, this, is, this isn't this is what I want. I firmly believe in asking for things that are actionable as opposed to saying, please don't do that unless it's something that needs to be like a mm-hmm. please don't do. It's like, I would prefer to be treated this way. I would prefer that. So things that someone can actually perform or do right? so that it's they don't have to do the algebraic equation of like, okay, so I can't do that, but what can I do? And even something that might seem painfully obvious to you, like you're like, I've supported this man for five years and now that he has a job, he's not thinking like, oh, I need to take her out. Uh, People aren't always on the same page. Like to me, I'd be like, oh, that's exactly what I need to do for you. Yeah. But I also like from being in a relationship, not that I've had this scenario, but I do, I have realized like people, like you said, are not mind readers. Yeah. So you have to give them that initial, like, I want this. I concur. Phase two of the operation. And this is where I think what we talked about in phase one might change a little bit. Okay. Subject two, there's a guy at work. And he likes me, and I mean likes me, likes me. And we've been talking, and we're uh, and we are friends. But he wants more. I don't even know if I'm in a relationship. I feel bad. I don't know if I'm leading him on, or not. I feel like I'm being nice. I need to help. I need help. My head is all kinds of messed up. Please help. And so for me here, if you are living with a person and you are going to call them your boyfriend you are in a relationship Uh, 100 percent, and you've been with this person for five years Mm -hmm. so for sure you're in a relationship and even if you're checked out of that relationship i feel it's your duty to to officially check out to check out like to go down to the fucking hotel lobby and tell the concierge guy at the desk you're leaving this hotel yeah and even if he even if it's obvious like that he hasn't been there for you in any way that you need him, I think it's worth or you need to tell him like this isn't working for me anymore and you guys separate. Yeah, because and I usually am not like one to be like, oh, you know, break up. You know, it's not about giving a person a second chance. It just to me, if you're honestly asking us if you're in a relationship you don't want to be in the relationship you're in. And if you're considering, if you're even flirting with the idea of wanting to be with this guy at work, maybe that means things at home aren't exactly the way you'd want them to be. So maybe that even means taking a break because like, who knows? Who knows? You know, you might only be interested in this guy because you're not getting what you want. Yeah. With your current guy. And if somebody is expressing an interest in you that's more than friendship and you don't outwardly say, I am either interested in this or not interested in this, then you are kind of leading a person on if you're not Mm -hmm. being honest about where you are and how you feel about a thing. So, And I think you got to start with having an honest conversation with yourself being like, what do I want? Do I want this guy? Do I want that guy? Do I want to be living with this guy? Do I want to try to uh, repair the relationship I'm in? Because if you can get back to the uh, state in which the two of you fell in love in your current relationship, maybe you can bury the resentments after you have a deep conversation. I also feel like sometimes like every relationship doesn't necessarily need to be saved like each relationship can serve its own purpose and you can move on and have a new beginning yeah but I really like what you said about excuse me I belched I really liked what you said about knowing what you want I think you're spending a lot of time being concerned about other people's feelings and whether or not you want too much or are you leading this guy on but what do you want Mm. Sounds like you want to be in an excited relationship where you are valued and taken out for your time and, you know, fun things are going on. I don't know, but you should definitely ask yourself that because that's really important. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope we helped. Let's get to, well, another anonymous. Another anonymous. (laughs) Work she. Okay. I think that's your title. Yeah, that's the title. I came up with that one. It's work she. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, a little bit about me before I get into this. I'm a 22-year-old female currently studying at a fashion school in New York City. Very cool. Um, Very the hills. mm, Well, that was Los Angeles, but you know, still gives me the same energy. Yeah, Lauren Conrad vibes for Mm -hmm. show. 
I've been at my current job for almost six months and they've been giving me more responsibility, making store schedules, calling me outside of work hours. But I haven't changed my title from sales associate or changed my hourly pay. Although I don't see a future with this company, I'm using this job as a stepping stone to a better job. Should I try to get paid more or should I say fuck it and put my two weeks in and hope the next place I work doesn't take advantage of me? Oh no, I say you always ask for what you want and you go and you even when it's hard and they're like you know that you're gonna have to put up a big fight if you're willing to leave this job anyways you have nothing to lose even if it's scary and makes your stomach turn i think you definitely those are skills that you should get good at is asking for what you're also putting into the job yeah i think there's so there's a big thing in this for me where it's like you look at your work hire contract and it actually lists what's expected of you as an employee and when they start adding things to that list in my personal opinion we start adding money to it like if you like if you want to call me and i'm off the clock you're gonna pay for that time and i'm gonna put you on the clock i've even had jobs where bosses don't respect that at all so i will not answer the phone unless i am at the workplace yeah because I'm not going to spend my mental... You're not paying for my mental agony outside of work. And if you're not going above and beyond and doing these things to have the upper job title, it's like, okay, then you got to work harder. But if you're actually going above and beyond, I think you need to like email yeah. the boss and say like, hey, when can we meet? And really like get your shit together and be like, I'm doing X, 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 and X. I'm going, I'm working more here and there. And this is why I feel that I deserve this title or this raise. Yeah, make a case for yourself and stand by it. And don't be afraid to ask for what you are worth. earning and what you are worth. Um, and I think like Rylan said, you know, you're ready to leave anyways. Start looking for another job. And when you go in to have this conversation, have your ducks in a row. My viewpoint is also never leave a job until you have another one. Exactly. If possible. Like yeah. you search. You Unless search, it's search. a horrible work environment. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously yeah. if there's abuse or like if, yeah. But if you can demand your raise yeah. while also looking for your next gig. Yeah. Love that. Perfect. And that was our advice. That's our advice. All right. Should we take this little quiz? Let's or this, do it. It's not a quiz, I guess. It's more of like seeing how many millennial things we say. But like, I couldn't say millennial things because I'm obviously Gen Z. I was clearly born after 1995. Wait. I'm 19 years old. Hmm. So, <laughs> and if you're getting, I, I don't know. If you have a quiz that you think would be good for us to take, also yeah. send it to us. Send it our way. Send it our way. So apparently Gen Z can't stand these 30 millennial phrases or words. So Gen Z, okay, I got it. They can't stand So Gen Z's saying. fine with wearing a mint green and a lime green, but they can't fucking stand it when we call our dogs doggos. Hey, doggos. Mm, no, I've never done it. I don't do it either. I call mine daguietas. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I really like to call them that. A daguietta? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. I don't even, I don't, I'm not tracking, but I get it. I don't I, understand either. I call my dog some dumb shit too, but I don't know what it is. And I call Honey my little princess. Hey, princess, honey. My little princess. She's laying over here looking like a sweet ass little princess. Well, her nose is nuzzled into her paws. We call her a cinnamon roll when she's doing that. She has a cinnamon roll. We should, we should take a picture so that she looks like a precious them. angel baby. Okay. There she is, my little cinnamon roll. God, I love her so much. I call my dogs logs. Log dogs. <laughs> Look at this little log dog. So, no, we don't do doggos. No, but Yuck. people do, and I'm not mad at it. What, what about, about puppers? puppers? Nope. No. Uh. No, I have called Mr. Bubs a rat fuck, <laughs> but that's when he's being particularly ornery. Do you ever use the word adulting when referring to doing mm. something like cooking or paying taxes? I probably have before, but I don't. I have before too. Honestly, it makes me cringe also. Yeah. I mean, it, it had its like moment. It, it, and yeah. people used it a lot, but it's definitely done. Yeah. Or like full ass adult. Adulting. Like I'm a full ass adult. Yeah, I just, I don't like it. It is no. very basic. It's very, uh, what's the word for basic nowadays that you hate? I don't think it's, that's the word for basic. Chuggy. <sighs> <laughs> don't encourage this, Chris. Sorry. When you do something mundane like make a cookie or start an Instagram account for your pet, have you ever said, I did a thing? I say I did a thing. I did a thing. I did a thing. But it's like, I got fringe bangs like I did a thing. Right, and it's cute, and it's endearing when you say it, so 
Fuck you, Gen Z. Fuck you, Gen Z. <laughs> but I don't do that personally. But I'm I not am mad Gen about, Z, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like a Gen Z. See what I did there? You just told me five minutes ago you smell bad. Yeah, I did. <laughs> You're slapping them sideways. They're coming for you. They're currently making TikToks about how awful you are. And I'm how over here. How abusive I am <laughs> to Gen Z. Do you ever say, I love that for me? Yeah. Yeah, you always say that. I do. I love, I love a lot of things for me. for me. I love that for me. Um, I love that for you. I'm not mad about it. I love that it. for Chris. Do you refer to your pet as your fur baby? No. no. That Those are just my children. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like they're not fur babies. Like I, I did give birth to them. I haven't wanted to talk about it publicly because oh. I didn't want like the media to storm my house because it's fucking crazy. But get this: not only is Jelly my doctor, but she is also my mother and the mistress of the entire universe, which is insane because she birthed me and I birthed her, and we raised each other just the same. Yeah, you get it. Mm. You're following. Yeah. And Bubs is definitely my biological son. <laughs> it is what it is. Do you, you don't even have Chris with you on this one. <laughs> Chris doesn't have any animals because he's a psychopath. <laughs> he wants animals. You do? He's just never home. You do love the animals. Yeah. I see that for you. I'm sorry. Maybe you should get a service dog that you bring here. I'd love that. Should we get Chris a service dog and a gay pride manicure? <laughs> Make his dreams into things. Yeah, dreams become things. Do you name your pant? <gasps> what was that? Fool? I just no. kicked the coffee. Oh yeah, there's some coffee in there. Let me finish that for safety. Do you name your plants? No. Interesting. I'm just now trying to care for plants, so like I need to start watering them um, on a regular basis before I start naming them. But I name my knickknacks in my house. I've heard that if you speak to your plants, they thrive. Right. Or play music for them or something. Mm -hmm. Do you consider plants to be your children like they're your babies? What the fuck is this weird trend of Gen Zers having problems with millennials who don't have children filling a void in their lives with plants and fucking animals? I don't like it. A lot of people do their plant tours on YouTube. Yeah, but do you identify them as your children? Well, no, but... And if you did, who cares? Yeah. Um, when giving a tour of your living quarters, do you refer to your bedroom as a place where the magic happens? No. I don't think that's a millennial thing. I think that's even before our time. That was like MTV Cribs, and I don't even know when that was on. Yeah. That was like the thing for and everyone to say, which know, is coming back, by the way. What, MTV? Oh, yeah, but is it coming to TV, or is it going to like Snapchat? If it goes to Snapchat. Because it's been on Snapchat. With new, or are they repurposing Yeah, they like episodes? did Bella Thorne's house on, on Snapchat. Snapchat. I thought they were re-recording that for television. And I was all excited. Maybe they are. Maybe like they're Kathy, doing both. Kathy Griffin did it. I saw a bunch of people were doing it. And I was all excited about it. First time I was going to click onto the MTV station in a long time. I think you're right. Okay. Um, let's see if they show us where the magic happens. Do you miss old school Nickelodeon? Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was your favorite? Favorite show? Yeah. I liked the OG all that. Oh, okay. Like with Keenan. You're a little more elevated than me. What were you fucking with? I also They're fucked cartoons. with Rugrats. Yeah, I yeah, loved Rugrats. Like I, lo I love Cat Dog. Have you tried to watch the remake of uh, Rugrats? No. Yeah, they did. Paramount Plus has like a whole new season. Do you have of Rugrats. Paramount Plus? Yes. Maybe we should watch some Rugrats. We could do that. We should have done last night. We have to go soon. <sighs> <sighs> Anyways. Have you ever said something won the internet? No. Mm -mm. Are we? Is this a bad quiz? I think you fixed it. It's a bad quiz. But it's I okay. asked you for approval. Yeah. I know, but the we first ones you started with Dogita or whatever, and I Doggitas. was like, whatever. Have you ever used the term love wins? No, you hate love. Didn't we cover that earlier? You think you you think it's weird that people love love? Well, love wins is for like, uh, yeah, I don't use it, but I understand it. It's like, you know, that's what they were saying when, like, gay marriage became yeah. legal. So love wins. Yeah. You know? Yeah. When you have uh, completed a minor task, have you ever said, I deserve a little treat? Yes. <laughs> you have said that, Ryland. <laughs> when do I not deserve a treat? I mean, you always deserve a treat. We deserve it. I deserve it. We used to always say that in high school <laughs> to justify, like, every bad thing we wanted to do. We'd be like, but we deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve, deserve it. it. We'd tell everyone else, you deserve it. We used to say YOLO. Of course you did. Yeah, or Ziga. What's the one you still say? 
Me? Yeah, you still say a phrase that's like very questionable. <laughs> what is it? Oh no, I can't remember. I wish you could tell me so I could not be embarrassed in public when I say it. <laughs> no, you you've said it on the podcast before and you stood behind it like oh, aggressively. Sure. What was it? Are you picking? I'm what? itching. I've got spa chemicals all over my body. I didn't bathe. I smell. I'm Why itching. Why did you shower this morning? I'm not going to shower until I get home. But I'm not going to shower until I get home. That's fine. You're going on a plane. Um, Have you ever said you're too old for TikTok? That's all you say. That's all I say every day. Do you refer to your significant other as hubby, the Mr. Babe, or the old ball and chain? No, dog dad. Dog dad. Okay. Or just dad. I don't think I called Joe anything. You don't call him Bubba? No. I thought you did. Bubba? Yeah. No, that's that's Mr. Bubs. Bubba's. Oh. But I do speak about <laughs> Mr. Bubs as if he were my husband. And like low key, sometimes I ask him if he wants to marry me. I know Lizzie goes. But it's not legal yet, so we have to wait. What did you ask Jelly yesterday if she was gonna miss you or something? And you oh. said she- Yeah, I've been asking Jelly if she's gonna miss me and she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, Jelly. I missed you bad, my little crustacean. She's not watching. She is watching. (laughs) She watches with me every Wednesday. She's probably with me right now watching this. Lizzie watches three times at least. I have to. Someone's got to watch it. (laughs) Do you call weeknights school nights even though you've been out of school for a decade or so? Yeah, I do. And because of that, I have a better work week. So you can go fuck yourself if you're not calling a work day, a weekday, a uh, school day. Should we stop while we're ahead? How many more of these are 75. there? There's you, 75. Do you say shooketh? We all, I'm shook. We do say hangry. hangry do you use sure. this the lie, the laughing cry face emoji? Yes, yeah. of course. Are you a wine mom? No. Yes. <laughs> this motherfucker had half a glass of wine last night and acted drunk off of his ass for like 13 hours. No, I did not. You just kept saying I was drunk. You seemed real loose. You were <laughs> after a few sips. You're like, you're like projecting. literally, like your neck was I started, swabbling. I started having fun, and Lizzie was like, "Oh, he's partying." He seemed wasted. White girl wasted. I didn't even finish my glass of wine at dinner. Well, then it doesn't take much. <laughs> Do you refer to women as queens and guys as kings? Sure. Mm. Do you identify as a '90s kid? Absolutely. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever said I was today years old when you learned something new? No. Have you ever? How's stopped- that any better than it? Uh, what? It's the blank for me. How's that any different than that? It's not. You guys say dumb shit too, Gen Z. Deal with it. Well, I'm sure <laughs> we can't we can't categorize all of this as Gen Z because a millennial probably wrote this. It's a BuzzFeed article. Right. F- fucking a boomer probably woke th- wrote this. Woke this. Buzz- BuzzFeed doesn't pay their people enough for them to survive. So somebody who's already had a full ass career probably has to do this shit hmm. and make rent. Have you stopped going to bars because they're too loud? Yeah. One hundred percent. Yes. Do you just really hate the word moist and let no, people know it? Any I don't care. You got? I don't give At a fuck. All. Moist is kind of like a nice word. Like I, I like, like a moist too. cake. Moisty, moisty, moist. Moist, 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 moist. moist, 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 moist okay, moist. I'm done with this. Do you blame bad things? We have one minute to, to exit the show. There's a lot about Mercury retrograde, which I feel like you mm, identify I with. I hardcore identify with that. When you need someone to contact you, do you ask them to ping uh, you? No. Are you blacking out when I tell you that this is going to cut in a minute? And <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm saying that. I'm speeding through. Well, no, I, we got to just cut. Oh, we got to say goodbye. That's yeah, the end. We've got to say goodbye to the people. Tarjay. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting our show. <laughs> if you want to follow us on at social media, whoa, we're at the SIP official. <gasps> we're also on there personally. We upload every Wednesday. Tell all of your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your sister. Tell your cat. Mm hmm. Tell your dogs. Tell your teachers. No, honestly, thank you so much for supporting the show. We know it's been a little like while I'm moving. We're finding our footing, guys. Like We're we're not going to promise it's going to be better next week because it might not be. But it's going to be good soon. Thank you so much for watching. We love you very much. Goodbye. And And that's that's the sip. (laughs) Okay, well, I was going to say we keep talking until it cuts, but we have no time. Would you cut it? In like three seconds. We have... Okay, bye. <laughs> you can't say bye anymore. It's we over. Bye, bye, bye. If you want to say